Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are doing the meal prep today for the steak. Um, so we made the chicken yesterday. Um, but I also wanted to tell you guys, uh, yesterday I went and bought more of the, um, the little mini chicken salad things. I bought like six more <laughs> of each of these are bomb and they are the perfect snack for you to just to snack on and you know so you don't eat like chips and stuff um yeah if you want to try these try some of these they are only a dollar a pack and i think six crackers come in there and then the little um thing is about this big full of um the chicken salad or the tuna but anyway um, let's talk about the chicken meal that we've already made. I didn't get a chance to record that because I needed to cook it and then go to work. So we have one in the refrigerator. Um, Josh took one to work today that had been in the refrigerator already and he said the chicken was still juicy. So let me tell y'all how we made the chicken. We put it in our Ninja Air Fryer and we, and I cooked two at a time and they are this size I don't know if you can see they are this size um and I put two at a time in our air fryer I think our air fryer is three and a half quart and um I think three and a half between three and a half and four and I put it in the air fryer on 390 for 20 minutes. Um, and I, before I put it in there, I rubbed olive oil on it and I seasoned it. And that's all I did. And then after the full 20 minutes, cut them up and they were ready to go. Um, Josh said they were still super juicy today. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the chicken. That's the chicken on this side. And then what I did with our side um, is I made the five minute white rice and I also made one of the frozen um, steamable broccolis. I put that in a uh, microwave and then I put it all together in uh, a pot with some butter and a little bit of whole, um, Himalayan pink salt and some um, shredded Mexican shredded cheese. Mixed it all together and we had white uh, white rice with broccoli and cheese. Bam. So that's your grain and your vegetable. And that's how we made that. It was super simple, super fast. It only took me about 30 minutes to make. And that was our first meal prep. And, to de and also Josh made um, some tuna in here, our regular tuna salad. I'll put that recipe down below so you guys can see how we make that. Um, and today we are going to be making steak with mushrooms. That um, is it called flank steak, babe? Yeah. Flank steak, and I'm going to be cutting it up in shrimp strips uh, with mushrooms. The bean rice that we wanted to try and some green beans. So let me get the bean rice and the green beans. All right, so if y'all don't remember from the last video, this is what the bean rice looks like. I think this is made out of beans. I really need to look it up. And then we're just gonna be eating the French style green beans from the can. Um, I do know how to make green beans from scratch, but that just, you know, takes time and I don't really have that much time. Um, but yeah, let me look it up and see what this is actually made of. Oh, yeah, chickpeas, red lentils, green peas, potato starch, xanthan gum, and sea salt. So that's what's all in this. And it does say it was manufactured around eggs, milks, peanuts, soy, tree nuts, and wheat. So if you're allergic to any of that, don't eat this. But, um, yeah, it has 10 grams of protein, 5 grams of fiber, and I just bought one bag because I don't know if we're going to like it, um, and they were on sale for, I think, 25% off or something like that, 
Um, so I got these. And it says compared to brown rice, uh, brown rice is only three grams of protein, two grams of fiber, and it is 36 grams of net carbs, and this is only 23 grams of net carbs. We don't count carbs, so I don't really care about that. But um, yeah, so we're going to try this today. I also have my wine that I will be drinking. I made a mimosa. Oh yeah, that was perfect. And it is 8.09 now, so we're going to start making our food. I'm going to cook the steak on top of the stove today. Um, sometimes if you want this to go back quicker, you can just stick it in the oven, do what you got to do, and then take it out. Um, but I want to make it on top of the stove today. Josh already has seasoned it. Um, if you want to know what is seasoned with and how you season it, that will be down below as well. And yeah, let's get cooking. Okay guys, so we're starting off cooking this steak. Um, I believe this is called flank steak. I'm still not sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just going to cook it covered. Um, and then, you know, just flip it in between as it changes um, color. And then I told my husband that it was two or four total and he just didn't believe me. But <laughs> I ended up splitting that in and then cooking it on the inside and then just cook it all the way through. I like the, that it's thinner. It makes me feel like I'm not eating so much of like the fat is mostly meat. Um, and I just did that with the, the same thing with the other one. And then I'm going to start with the mushrooms and the onions and the peppers. Um, I just cooked that in the um, leftover flavoring from the steak. And then that's it. And then we're going to start to cook the uh, rice legumes. And I'm trying to show you guys on the bag. It had me put six cups of water in there. And then I boil it like beans. And then I strain it just like beans. So you cook it just like beans. I think I cooked it a little bit too much. Um, I would like it to be a little less um, cooked through. Um, so I just know what to do next time. But this yellow film kind of was just like, ew, I think that's the xanthan gum. Um, but yeah, they, it was it was pretty good. I'll let you guys know what I thought of it um, in the next coming clip. Okay guys, so we are done. This made four meals. Only made one can of green beans. That's what it's looking like. I'm about to eat it. The rice kind of reminds me of um, rice aroni. I seasoned it with um, salt and Himalayan salt and garlic powder. Pretty good. Not too bad. I could eat it. Um, I don't know how it's going to do like in the refrigerator to the microwave, but I'll let you guys know. Okay, guys. So, camera went dead. I, I want to about to tell you guys what we're going to be cooking next for meal prep, but I did finish my dinner and it was so good. I am very full. Um, well, not like full where I want to go to sleep, but like full where I'm satisfied. So, um, yeah, it was enough food for me, and I'm sure it'll be enough food for Josh. Um, but yeah, it was really good. I'm really happy I tried the the rice legumes. I think that's how you say it. Um, and I think we'll try it again, uh, and I'll look to see if maybe they have some flavored ones or something. So the next meal that we'll be making is salmon, red potatoes, and some type of uh, vegetable, probably uh, the broccoli and cheese bake that um, we bought. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too long this time. I tried to make it straight to the point, and I tried not to talk too much. But um, thank you for all the love on the last video. If you haven't seen it yet, Go check that out. I'll put it up in the eye up at the top here. And yeah, 
come back next time to check us out this friday will be a different type of content video um for you guys and yeah we'll see you guys next time peace